powerful earthquake rocking Anchorage, Alaska, a 7.0. People running outside and then back indoors when they thought it was safe. And then another one hits, the first of many aftershocks. And the images tonight, parts of the ceiling in this courtroom coming down, lights swaying there, the entire room shaking. Lawyers dropping to the floor, crawling on hands and knees. You can see one of them hiding under the desk there to the right. At the airport, the tremors and then the lights going, a scare for air traffic controllers with flights getting ready to land, and you'll hear them in a moment. The relentless shaking causing massive damage inside this newsroom and buckling roads everywhere, swallowing cars, authorities warning people to shelter in place. Tonight, the governor declaring a state of emergency as Alaskans brace for more aftershocks. ABC's chief national correspondent, Matt Gutman, leading us off. The shaking started at 8.30 this morning. This Anchorage courtroom seemingly on rollers. Debris crashing, pictures flapping, and those inside holding on, then diving under desks. Oh, my God. It's okay. And terrifying moments at the airport. Earthquake! Earthquake! Panic everywhere. Inside this home, you can hear the rumbling and this mother frantically searching for her son before grabbing him and rushing to safety. Got a house on fire there. Four hours today, as fires erupted from burst gas pipes, Alaska's biggest city seemed completely cut off from the world. The 7.0 magnitude quake struck about 25 miles deep, but its epicenter just miles from downtown Anchorage. Yeah, there are. TVs on the ground. The local CBS station live streamed the damage to its studios. Ceilings caved in, offices flooded. Roads cratered. This car marooned where the road ripped apart. Holy smoke. Can you get out of there? For several hours, the city's airports shut down. And before evacuating their tower, air traffic controllers frantically waving off incoming planes. Fear ripping through Colony High School north of the epicenter. Students cowering beneath their desks. And one of Alaska's most famous residents, Sarah Palin, posting this video of damage at her parents' home in Wasilla. Emergency services inundated with calls. Don't overwhelm the phone lines. We know that some cell towers um, are not working. And when the quake struck, Dr. Owen Allah was operating on a patient. The patient can't protect uh, herself, and so we had to um, uh, basically just give the patient a big bear hug so the patient doesn't fall off the, off the bed. Wow, incredible. They were operating on these patients as the earthquake uh, hit. Matt Gutman with us live tonight, and Matt, already a number of aftershocks, and authorities are warning that they could actually last for a week or longer. That's right, David. We've been keeping count of those aftershocks, and there have been well over 50 of them so far. And we're told that Alaskans should brace themselves over the coming days for many more, including some that could be powerful enough to liquefy the earth. That means that they could actually turn the soil into a consistency that's similar to quicksand. That's what we likely saw today. Thankfully, no one was killed. David. All right, Matt Gutman, who was on the air with us as this was unfolding earlier today. Matt, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.